You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. That these guys aren't us. So the example, us. I'm, I'm willing to work unpaid. Mm -hmm. I'll go above and beyond unpaid. <laughs> I'll do, I'll figure things out on my own. Mm -hmm. I'll do that stuff. Right. I don't, you know, and we kind of, we, we think that our guys will do the same, the same kind of a thing and they don't. Nope. They, they don't. They They're do not. not. Well, but here's the biggest thing though, is if, if you actually stopped and did the math, right? Let's say, let's say that you're paying somebody 60,000 bucks a year and 24 days is outrageous. You don't need to give 24 days off. No. Yeah, like what? you're actually amplifying the number of days because they're not paying for it. But if yeah. you just said, let's just pay for like 15 days, right? And you compare 120 to 2080, right? You're talking yeah. about just like 5% increase in pay, a 5% increase. So if you're paying 60 grand a year, we're talking about an extra 3,000 bucks. That's right. it. 3,000 bucks offers 15 days of paid vacation a year. Right. It would blow all your competitors out of the water. They wouldn't follow you because they think you're back crazy, right? They're like, who, who's this guy? He's gonna give his people 15 days paid a year. Yeah, because it's 3,000 bucks. Like, it's three grand. This is nothing right. compared to the six grand you're paying them. Compared right. to how much time you spend trying to attract the best people, take care of them. They want some freaking PTO, give them some PTO. Right. That doesn't right. make them, you know what they wanna do? They wanna go to the lake mm -hmm. and get paid for it. That's right. So they want to, <laughs> right. They, they right. want to know if they get sick. They won't have to choose to not pay the power bill that month. Right. right. All they're asking for. Just exactly. hook them up. Right. Grant. Hook them up. And, and right. And I'm asking my. I know. I know. I got some of my clients on here. Who pays for that? Who pays for that? Who pays for Your that? Clients. Exactly. Right. Right. Hey, take a yeah. I short. Yeah. When when you're in a business where you charge per hour, I think it makes it a little more difficult. To, to think about paying an employee not to work. Mm -hmm. Because you're so tuned to this, I charge per hour, and I know their hourly rate, and it's a cost of goods sold equation, right. and so PTO would be overhead, and I wanna reduce overhead, et cetera, et cetera. But you gotta think about this as a competitive edge. This is what makes you different than everybody, mm -hmm. is the fact that nobody else can wrap their head around this extra little bit of time, or how to, how to manage staffing levels when you have somebody who wants to take take a week off to go and be with his family but this is the difference between companies that retain great people and those that don't mm -hmm. just think about this company right here this whatever they are in utah right mm -hmm. there are no handcuffs on their employees they're not walking away from pto when they quit right mm -hmm. they're not walking away from those things and so even that that build up of pto is something they have to choose to leave Hey, I've got a vacation plan. I'm getting a new job. Even if they give me PTO, it probably won't be for 90 days or 120 right. days. This is a something that sticks them to you.